Yeah, so I thought I'd share a little, um, I guess, not secret, but uh, something I discovered. You can basically take any cylinder, no matter what kind of shape it's in, and make it like brand new. Um, so I found out through a local performance shop, you know, how these cylinders work. You know, I originally thought that, um, you know, they were sleeved, which uh, a lot of cylinders are sleeved, like uh, the Banshee has sleeved cylinders. Um, but a lot of the newer bikes, they don't use sleeves anymore. Um, it's the whole cylinder is actually cast aluminum and uh, it's bored to the correct size and then they nickel plate uh, these cylinders. So it wasn't even able to be bored before. I needed to send the cylinder out. Um, but I'm glad that it happened because I mean the results are phenomenal. They did a really good job. Um, everything on it is super clean. I mean, it is brand new. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw it before in my other video. This had a cracked uh, intake bridge. They repaired the crack. Can't even tell it was ever there. Um, and there were gouges that were probably about a millimeter deep in four different spots. Some of them were pretty long. I mean, it was. It needed. It needed to be done. Um, can't tell that any of that stuff is there. I mean, it, it, I would, it's hard for me to believe this is even the same cylinder that I sent them, but I know it is. Um, but yeah, the, the big thing is, you know, to buy this cylinder online, if you go on, you know, Bike Bandit or uh, Motosport.com and you went to buy a brand new one, even eBay, the cheapest I could find was like 470 bucks. That's for a new OEM cylinder. Um, let me actually go to Motosport right now. So yeah, I'm, I'm here on Motosport and just for the cylinder, it's 488.68. Um, that doesn't come with the power valve or anything. It's just like what I have here, just the cylinder. It's almost 500 bucks. That's not even including shipping, even though it, it would have free shipping because it's five, almost $500. But the point is, you know, you're basically looking at $500 to get a new cylinder. What I paid for this, 230. Now I did get a small discount, um, but their pricing is great. It would have been about 300 bucks. That includes me shipping it to them and then shipping it back to me. Um, 300 bucks as opposed to 500 bucks, you're saving $200. That's that's crazy. You know what I mean? And personally, I'd rather have this than a new OEM one because sometimes new OEM stuff has uh, flaws. This thing I know they checked thoroughly and it's going to be in spec. Um, so that's and that's pretty much for any cylinder uh, that they have. Um, if you go to their, their website, powersteelusa.com, they have all their services and what it costs uh, laid out really nicely and um, straightforward. So, I mean, this was a KX100 that I cylinder that I sent to them. It wouldn't have mattered what kind of cylinder I sent to them. Now, it depends what's wrong with it. Now, this one needed repairs and it needed a rebore. So, it there was some extra stuff. That's why it would have been around $300 because I had that cracked intake and everything. But if you just needed a, um, you know, like a rebore or like a finish up, or if you have gouges, I think it probably wouldn't be that much. Any way you look at it, you know, you can't, you can't beat that. So you're getting a brand new cylinder, it's all done, they take care of the bore for you and everything. If you ask me, I think that's a great value. They were extremely professional. I dealt with them on the phone and everything, and I'm, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, if you ever need, you know, to get the same thing done, because I had to do a lot of shopping around to find a good spot for it. I never, I've never sent a cylinder out to be replated before, um, so it's just a good thing, a good, uh, good thing to know, a good thing to have in your back pocket for when you need it. Uh, so that's it, guys. Um, I'll get a couple shots here so you can see up close uh, what the cylinder looks like. Uh, just a couple quick things though. Uh, before you send in the cylinder, you just um, make sure m remove as much as you possibly can. Like I took my head studs out. Um, I took the power valve out, 
all that stuff, they'll do it for you. You can send it to them clumped in mud and everything, but they're going to charge you to clean it up, rightfully so. I mean, it's a pain in the ass doing that stuff. So they're not going to do it for free. So if you're looking to save the most amount of money, take your head studs out, take the power valve out, and clean it the best you can. Try to get all the sludge and stuff out of the power valve. And um, if you have any grind or, and stuff, you know, just do your best. Clean it up because the more you, you help them out, the more they're going to help you out. That's the way I feel. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll have a couple more videos coming up soon. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you in the next video. So this here is how it comes packaged, or how it came packaged for me anyway. Got their power seal sticker on top, liking the colors there. Got your your invoice and everything here. Um, everything's packaged real tight too. Nothing was wiggling around. There she is, baby. Does that not look like a brand new cylinder? I mean, it, seriously. Even in the, uh, where the power valve goes, everything looks brand spanking new. And there's the cylinder. You can see how nice it looks in there. Real clean cross hatching. Super, super good job. So I'm super happy with this. Um, so next, I'll be dropping my, my piston in. Oh, and uh, the weld, you can see right here. This was the side that was busted. Make sure you guys can see that. Looks like they built it up a little bit. Make it extra strong. Can't even see it on the inside. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. So stay tuned guys. I am going to be putting this cylinder on in the next couple days. I have all the stuff to get the bike ready to roll. So uh, the KX should be a completed project this week, I think. So stay tuned for those videos. It's going to be pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Jim.